Hi. So, second to last day. Today we are having a wing it Monday. Uh, gonna go to Hollywood Studios, got our fast pass for Slinky Dog again. Cancelled the other ones because I think we're just a little mermaid and Indiana Jones and we've done them already. <coughs> then this evening got T-Rex. Probably gonna go to Disney Springs, get a few shopping bits, Christmas bits that I need to get for people. Um, so I'll hopefully show you around Disney Springs tonight. I think I'm gonna go by myself and have a browse. Um, we've just been doing some Instagram shots, hence the groovy hat. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you around Hollywood again. Hopefully get some better shots at the toy store because hopefully it's not as crowded today. <laughs> So I'm going to Disney Springs, do some final shopping bits and hopefully get a few Christmas bits for people. A uh, nice chilled out day at Disney Springs for me, on my own, no Martin, no child. So I'll hopefully show you around some of the shops and the new world of Disney. Just been to the Amaretz Patisserie, got the mini drink, it was $18, but it's so Instagrammable.
place odd times. We're going to Animal Kingdom. Um, it got Sonar tonight. These days are by the Magical Day Apparel. Um, got a fast bus flight of passage. Kilimanjaro expedition. Can't wait for tonight. It's one of the best meals on property. Um, and then we're going to stay by the Magic Kingdom tomorrow morning. So come along to Animal Kingdom, Kingdom with us. Now we're going to start off in the Ituri Forest. Kilimanjaro this part safari. of the forest a lot of the animals use camouflage to blend into their surroundings. So we're going to keep our eyes on the lookout for them. Now over here to our right you can see an okapi right there guys. Now okapis are known for those black and white stripes on their hind legs. Now those stripes actually help that okapi to uh, blend in and disappear into its surroundings by mimicking the sun rays when they stand behind trees or bushes. Now most people assume they're related to the uh, zebra, they're actually related to the giraffe and that's because they share the same skull structure as well as the same black and blue tongue. Now coming up here to the left I do see a black rhino. Now black rhinos are extremely antisocial creatures. They love to spend most of their lives by themselves. They don't generally hang around anybody or anything else. Now they get to be around 3,000 pounds and can run at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour. Now there are actually less than 5,000 left in the wild and so they are an endangered species because they are constantly being poached for those horns of theirs. Now there's nothing special about those horns, in fact they're just made out of keratin, which is the same thing that our hair and fingernails are made up of. Now over here to our left, way up down the hill, you can see some bongos, guys. Now bongos love to take care of their horns. They like to rub them against tree leaves and bark to give them nice and clean, to give them a new, new shine. <coughs> Now over here, down here to the left again by that bush there, that is a greater kudu. Now that's actually a female, these are actually females, there's three of them right there. Now I know that they're females because they don't have any horns. Only the males will have horns, but they're about six feet in length. So they are very distinguishable. Now we are headed right into the Safi River now, so let's keep our eyes on the lookout for those hippos. Now, hippos generally spend most of their time under the water where it's nice and cool. They can do that because they can actually hold their breath for about eight minutes at a time. In fact, I do see a couple of hippos over here to our left, a little small bloats of hippos. Now, hippos, like I said, spend most of their time under the water. They will sometimes come out during the daytime to graze along the riverbank. However, if they spend too much time in the sun, they're going to start to turn red and look like they've got a sunburn. What's happening is their body starts to secrete a red slime that acts like a natural suntan lotion for them. Now, these larger gray birds here to the left, those are pink-backed pelicans. Now, they get that name because their backs actually do turn a dusty pink color, but only during mating season. Now, they are colonial birds, and so they do nest, and they have anywhere between 20 and 200 in a nest. Now hippos do look very cute and cuddly, but like I said, they're extremely territorial. Now some of you may just be able to see a baby hippo right over here. It looks like they're nursing right here. Right over here, guys. Now, when it comes time for that baby to nurse, uh, it will actually close its nose and ears automatically to allow it to nurse, because they actually nurse under the water. Now as we cross this bridge here, please remain seated as we cross this bridge. Now we've got some Nile crocodiles over here. Now if you can see this big fellow way over there with his mouth open there. The reason he has his mouth open is because he's releasing all of that hot air from his body. Uh, much the way that dogs will pant to cool themselves off. He's simply releasing all of that hot air to keep himself nice. Right over here in the center we've got some giraffes over here. In fact, we have a small tower of giraffes. Now, if you guys can see how this giraffe is walking way up there, uh, the way that, that giraffe is walking is very unique because when they walk, they actually have to move both legs on either side together. They can't just savanna. They can actually uh, tell the difference between each other just based off of their coats. 
and so that does allow them to become much better at hunting. Now if you can see that large tongue of theirs right there, that tongue is about one and a half feet in length and it's a bluish black in color and that color does help protect their tongue from getting burned out here in the sun. Now over here to the left we've got some white bearded wildebeest and some sable antelope. Now the sable antelope are up the hill there, those brown ones. Uh, their horns curve backwards over their body because that will actually help protect them from predators. Now right here, these are Patterson elands, and just back there in the back, that's actually a baby eland right there. Now Patterson elands, they are the largest of the antelope. Uh, they can get to be around 3,000 pounds or so. The males will be larger than the females. Now there, again, there's that baby eland right there. Now those white bearded wildebeest, they're very unique. They can run at speeds of up to 55 miles an hour, and that does place them among some of the fastest land mammals. And they also uh, travel in very large numbers when they migrate. They can migrate with about 1.5 million. Now giraffes here, as you see, they are munching down. They love to eat giraffes too. They actually eat all day long, and they can do that because they actually have four stomachs. Now, because they eat all day long, they only sleep for around 30 minutes a day. We are at the Gorilla Trail, and um, we're hoping to see some gorillas move. The one laying just there. One just there. And there's one up there somewhere. Mm. Might think he's got a special mating call. Do it. Do your mating. Come. <laughs> Just about to head into Pandora again. I'm going to try and film the flight. I passed last time. It went a bit wrong, but it didn't seem to capture it. I don't know what went wrong, but I'm going to try again.
Yeah, we ate at Sonal, which is a ritual that we always do. It's one of our favourite restaurants. We do it every year. Um, it was really nice, as always. <laughs> it's at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, and that was the final day. I'm really, really sad. I don't want the holiday to end. <laughs> it's had good and bad times. Um, it's been hard coming with a child. <laughs> I can normally come just two adults. Um, so and now I'm just waiting for my last laundry to dry because we do all our, all our washing in the laundry here before we go home so then we don't have to do it when we get home which is a nice thing so I'm just packing up the last few bits um, got the letter from the um, Tragical Express that gets left on your door obviously the day before you go home it's picking us up at 2.45 in the afternoon ready to leave at 7.45 um, maybe in the morning see how I feel I might go say goodbye to the Magic Kingdom it just depends how busy the buses are so we'll see the shoes in my bubble wound up so I can pack it. Spreading bubbles to the art of animation. Be free! Be free! Have the massage for the flight home. <laughs> to wait till my tragical express kicks up so <laughs> these are in the arcade at Pop Central. 